engineers, we're going to do our engineering notebook. We're going to learn about fonts and we're going to do a logo. Red text means stop and take a note. Green text means go and do what it says. And any other color text means read it and learn. All right, here's what we're going to learn in this issue. Uh, what is Adobe Illustrator? How to set up a template to use in Adobe Illustrator for the laser cutter. Why fonts are important. How to select and obtain a font. Use a font in Adobe Illustrator. How to draw and edit using a variety of tools. All right, here we go. If you haven't got logged in yet, get logged in. Um, and we're going to look at the assignment instructions, which are right here. We're going to use a laser cutter to cut out words and a logo on your engineering notebook. Okay, if you have any questions, write that down. Okay, what is Adobe Illustrator? It's a professional grade vector based illustration application that does not pix use pixels but instead uses math formulas. It does not u lose quality or pixelate. Okay, so if you bring in a, a program like Photoshop or any other raster based program, let's see if I can bring it in. Come on. Doesn't want to come. Come on. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, so if I bring in Adobe Photoshop, and we look at a picture in it. So if I go to my tool and I zoom in, what do you see? What do you see? Well, eventually you see a bunch of little squares. Okay, because it pixelates. It's basically a photo like this is made up a bunch of little squares. But in a program like Adobe Illustrator, that's a raster based, no, pardon me, a vector based program. Come on, there we go. Let's look at this one. So if I go to this tool and I zoom in, and I zoom in, and I zoom in, and I zoom in. It never pixelates because it's not built up of little squares. It's built of mathematical formulas. So uh, that's why it is a vector-based. It's built, built on mathematical, mathematical formulas. It never loses quality. OK, Illustrator is expensive. There's a free one that you can get called Inkscape. It's free. Um, you can install it at home. If you want an extra credit assignment, you can install Inkscape at home. Take a screenshot by pressing Control alt print screen uh, you open a program like Paint or Paint.net, paste it into that, save that document, and then send it to me uh, as an attachment to my email here. Okay, so there's a free version. All right, so now the next thing we do is have to, we have to set up Illustrator for the laser cutter. So we're going to go to a new spiel. That's a separate spiel. So let's take a look at that thing. Okay, let's present this. Okay, so you got to set up. So now that you know what Illustrator is, we got to set up our thing. All right, same thing here. Okay, so you can do it two ways. You can find the template on the website, download it, open it, and save it. Um, and put it in your folder with, with your name on it and then the correct folder. Or you can just make a new document. Let's do that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do is that's written down for your convenience. We're going to go File, and we're going to go to New and make a new document. Okay, and then here's the important part. Okay, so the width has to be 24, the height has to be 12. You're going to give it a good name, like a, a Okay, so I'm going to do this for Zeke. Okay, and then you have to see where it says Advanced. You click on that, and you, you don't want it to see, be CMYK. You want it to be RGB, and click OK. It just won't do this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go File, you're going to go to Color Mode, and you're going to make sure it's RGB, and then you're going to go Edit, you're going to go to Color Settings, and then you're going to wait patiently, and you're going to make sure it says Emulate Adobe Illustrator 6.0, so go ahead and make sure you click on that. Okay, and then finally you're going to come over here, to this thing right here. If it doesn't look like this, go window. Maybe we better do this first. Window. Let's go to workspace and go to essentials. That's what I'm at. And then you can click on the, the palette here. And here's where you pick colors. You click on this and you want it to be RGB. Sometimes that's that's off. Actually, most of the time it's off. Okay, so this is the size of the platform in the laser cutter. This is the only way it's going to work. If you make it smaller, the laser cutter won't recognize. Even though we're going to only be cutting out in a small port over part in the corner here, you still have to make the canvas this size. Okay, so let's go back to the spiel and see what's up next. Okay, so we've done all this. Okay, um, we'll talk about that later, but a red... We'll talk about that later. Let's keep going here.
Okay, so let's go back to this old slide. All right, save the document in your folder. Okay, so you have to save it in the right spot. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So we're going to go, before you do any work, you're going to go File, Save, and you're going to save it in your folder with your name on it. So you find you find your folder with your name on it. You wait patiently. Okay, so you got to go to the computer. You're going to find your folder with your name on it. You're going to go to your folder called Ape. Yeah, you're going to make a new folder called um, Lo. This one says Lo. We're just going to make one called Logo. So we make a new folder called Logo. Okay, we're going to open this up. Oh, there's already one. Oh, I already have one called Logo. All right, so we're going to go in the folder called Logo, and I'm going to save it with a good name. Okay, make sure you put in a good name. Put your name on there. And we save it. Okay. Okay, so now we have to draw a rectangle for your notebook outline and also for your special place. Okay, so uh, what that means is this. So I'm going to click OK, by the way. Click OK. Okay, so I'm going to go to the rectangle tool, and I'm going to click, and my notebook is 7.5 inches wide by 9.75 inches tall, and I'm going to click OK. And I make that rectangle, and I'm going to move it up into the corner. Just The reason I'm doing this is I want to know... Uh, I want to know exactly where I can draw and where I can't draw. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click again. And I want to make another rectangle for me. It, you, it's going to be different for you. But mine is going to be 6 inches by 4 inches. Because this represents where I want, I want to put my writing and possibly my logo. And so I want to put it... And so I want to put it so I automatically can line up to the center, so it clicks to the center. But I want it to be about three quarters of an inch down, so I'm going to go view, and let's see if I can turn on rulers. Show rulers. Okay, so I want, there's one inch, so I want this to be three quarters of an inch down. So yeah, so you can tell that that's about three quarters of an inch down, so that's just about right. Maybe I'll put it down just a little bit more. Right there. Okay, so now this is going to be kind of my drawing area. Okay, so now we're going to add a layer. So I'm going to lock that layer, right, and I can turn that layer on and off um, because I don't want this to get cut out on the thing. This is just helping me f with my placement, okay? That's just helping me with my placement. Okay, so a layer, write this down. A layer is like a clear piece of plastic that you can draw on. So if you had a bunch of clear pieces of plastic, you could you could add, a, you could draw on a a piece of plastic and and paint on it and then put one on top of the other and draw on that one and put another peculiar plastic on top and and draw on it and the nice thing about having your artwork on separate layers is you can remove one take one away okay so write this down so uh, lock the layer and add a layer on top so that's what we're gonna do so we're, I already showed you we're gonna lock this layer and then we're gonna add a new layer on top and this is where we're gonna put our font okay so I'm gonna put I'm going to put the words engineering there, so I'm just going to put engineering on that uh, on that layer. Okay, okay. So here here's the deal. We're going to add some words, but we want to use a correct font. So font is basically the way the letters look. So font speak to the viewer and create emotion. Whenever you see a font, it actually creates emotion. Uh, the way something is typed can strongly affect how people react. It can accentuate your graphic designs. It gives them a, the ability to evoke the right emotion. So when people see a particular font, it they think of an emotion or they have an emotion. Uh, there was actually a study where researchers found that using the right typography uh, it helped people to frown less and perform creative tasks better. So people could actually do their work better if they were reading about something in the right font. Um, fonts can also reduce visual fatigue. So if you use the right font, it's easier to read. And if you use the wrong font, too many fonts, too much color, a font that's too creative, it can actually be overwhelming and make it difficult to read. And then fi fonts can also guide the reader along. So it tells the reader about what's most important in the text, text, and it helps them organize. So bolded text draws attention. Bolded lists help arrange their ideas, uh, and so on and so forth. And then colors emphasize points and consistency through the uh, text. So fonts make a huge difference in what you do. And um, whenever you're uh, building something for a company as an engineer, you have to make it look good and you have to have the right fonts in order to create the emotion and the effect that you want. All right, so let's take a look at this. Fonts do matter. So let's take a look at this. Um, okay, so if you look at all this, we're going to, maybe we'll zoom in here. So I just I just did a search topography and design, and I'm going to increase this, make it a little bit bigger. And, no, that, 
didn't work. There we go. We're going to make these bigger. Um, so look, so if you look at this font right here, okay, so it gives you an idea, it br brings an emotion, right? It makes you think of like slimy and creepy. Okay, if, let's take a look at this one. No, we don't want to, we don't want to look at that one. All right, if we look at this one, it's pr it's kind of a fun, whimsical font. Okay, just like a a video game. Um, so like this one, this I don't know what this does. This is really interesting, but it just makes you think of kind of drawing and lines, um, art and so things like that. Um, so you can see that the way that each of these fonts has been done, it creates a way different emotion. Okay, and we'll look at one more. All right, so you can see that there's a lot of different fonts out there, and they each have a different look and feel to them. And another thing about a font is it needs to be appropriate. Okay, so it doesn't mean it's bad. If it, a font's inappropriate, it doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it doesn't fit. So if you saw a lawyer's offer said, lawyers are us, and it used this font, it's not appropriate because this is like a fun, kiddish, that makes you think of toys, and you don't want that for the lawyer's offer. So you want to choose a font that's appropriate for what you're doing. So what we're going to do next is we're all going to go to defont.com, and we're going to get a font that we need. Okay, so what we do is we go to the internet. And we're going to go to www. Actually, well, we can do this, defont.com. And you can search for fonts. Okay, so, you know, we can do something in, uh, easy like engineering and see if anything shows up. And those are pretty boring, so I'm not going to do that. So let's try science. See if anything cool comes up. Okay, so you can see that you can get some way different different sort of fonts um, that may or may not you may or may not like. Okay, and so let's keep looking and see if we can find anything. Okay, so you're going to go to www.defont.com. The other thing you could do is you could just click over here and type in like Star Wars font and see and go to images. Oh, Star Wars is two words. Uh, okay, so you could go like this and you can click and see, you could visit the page and see if you can find a free font that way. Okay, so that's another another way. But let's go back to defont.com. Okay, okay, so let's we could we can click on like cartoon and we could search for it. So what I'm going to do is type in engineering. Okay, and so it'll show the different fonts here. So um, so you can find all sorts of fonts like this. By the way, uh, a font like this, see that white in the middle? That's all going to get cut out. So just remember, you're only going to get outlines. Any of the detail in the middle uh, is going to get cut out. All right, so we're, we're going to look and look and see. Uh, and you're going to type in whatever words you want, what you're going to cut out. So you can go to comic. Okay, so anyway, look around and see if you could, you can, like, again, a font like that, that detail that white detail is going to get cut out so don't don't do anything like that okay so i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to one i'm going to type in milkman and i like that one okay so what i'm going to do is once you find your font you're going to download it okay and then you have to right click and hit show in folder and then it, it is eventually going to appear so or you could just go so you have to go over here you're going to go to the downloads and there it is. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to copy those fonts. Here's the two I liked. And you have to copy them. You have to go to your folder with your name on it, okay? Once you find the font. And you're going to download it. Then you're going to go to the Applied Physics and Engineering folder. You're going to go to your logo, okay? And you're going to paste those. Because th these things are going to, after you install them, they're going to disappear every day. So anyway, so what we're going to do is I'm going to double click on this thing. Okay, and what you're looking for is either an OTF or a TTF. So there's a true type font. So you double click on it, and then this appears. Okay, so there's that font. Oh, you know what? One thing about so the one thing on this one, so that white stuff's not, not going to work, but we'll be okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit install. And so it's going to install. So now you have to install this thing every day. 
because at the end of the day it's going to uninstall. So every day that you use this, you're going to have to install it. All right, so we installed it, and it's good. Okay, so now what we do is we go back to Adobe Illustrator. Okay, and so I'm going to zoom in over here if I can. Did I overdo it? Let's try that again. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go to the text tool, and I'm going to kind of pick where I want to type. Maybe I'll just go right in the middle here, and I'll change it to that. Okay, and so then I'm going to just type in engineering. Okay, and then I select it, and then I come up here to my font, and I can type in... Okay, M-I-L-K, and it's going to change it into Milkman. Okay, so uh, there's the font, by the way, and I'm going to make it a lot bigger. Okay, and so then you're going to type in whatever you want for now. Okay, so we're going to go to Engineering. Okay, so, so the other thing you can do, by the way, is you click here, and then you hit the down arrow, and it goes through every font that is installed on the computer. And so there might already be one built in that you like better. Okay, so you can just go through, but I like the, I'm going to stick with the, what was the other one I, I had installed? Gaspar, we're going to try Gaspar. All right, so there's that one. That was another one I found. I kind of like that one. Okay, so the next thing you can do, too, is let's say that, for example, I want to do something really special with the uh, letter E. So I can select the letter E. I can go to, I can select it. I can go type. I can go to create outlines. And then it turns it into ed editable uh, artwork. And so then I can go over and I can actually edit it. So I can click on the direct selection tool and I can like oh I want this to kind of go like this and I like this can I want this to go like that so you can you can go and edit it afterwards okay all right so that's enough for today I think let's see where we're at on the spiel here so answer these questions I write this down everyone needs to get a font what well, you don't need to write that down what can you do with the text outlines uh, okay, you are not done yet. By the way, you're not done yet. You still need to get add a logo, and we're going to do that tomorrow. All right, so be done with that today. We'll have the next spiel tomorrow.